there's no doubt that Nvidia stock is one of the best stocks on the market, but it's already more than double this year alone. And if you don't pick the right entry price, you're absolutely going to lose money. So in this video, I'm going to share my outlook on Nvidia, my strategy for buying the stock and a trade that I just recently shared with my one on one students that are already making money on Nvidia's current volatility offers a prime opportunity for a high option premiums, making it absolutely ideal for put sellers looking to maximize income. Actually, this market right now is exclusively Nvidia and Tesla in terms of option trading. NVIDIA's elevated implied volatility is a good thing and it makes absolutely no sense in a good way. I'm going to explain right now. High quality, momentum upwards, and high premium. These are the three factors that NVIDIA has. Count me in. That's a very good formula for making money. When you have a high quality company that has high implied volatility, those two things are really a good formula because you want to own the stock. You don't mind. So selling options, which the risk, or I'll put in quotations, the risk is if you sell a put option, you will get assigned into a stock. But if you want to own the stock, you absolutely have no problems. This stock, NVIDIA, is an option seller's dream. I'm going to give you certain plays right now, a few different plays from my portfolio live. But I first want to say that selling puts on NVIDIA, it benefits from fast time decay, okay, which is theta, All right. So jumping into my portfolio right now, my portfolio is at $3.3 million and I'm going to go into NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA is a pretty big holding for me. I do have two portfolios. NVIDIA is a very big core holding in my other portfolio, but it's still a good sized position in this portfolio as well. And I am up $2,450 on NVIDIA and I have sold multiple different options. I have sold 107 puts, 102 puts, and 115 puts. Now, let me quickly explain. I like this stock. So, if I sell put options, the worst thing that can happen is I may get assigned 100 shares for each contract that I sell a put option, which for me is a good thing. I'm personally looking for steady returns between three to 4%. A lot of my one-on-one -on -one students that have 50K, 100K and six figures in their portfolio, three to 4% per month is a very good return. I mean, on 100K, that's three to $4,000 per month. Fantastic. Okay. NVIDIA provides a very good opportunity because for, you know, folks that are looking for a bit higher return, but still have a high quality company that has good momentum, NVIDIA basically fits all the requirements. So what I would do right now is I'm going to go into NVIDIA options. I'm going to show you different plays, but I also want to talk about theta and time decay. Okay. Cause when you're selling options, you really want to pay attention to essentially how the option is decaying in value, because that basically gives you the theoretical amount that you're up every single day. I'll explain to you very simply. All right. So if I were to sell a option that expires very short term, and let's just say, for example, I go for the 115, you can see here that the Delta is 0.38, which is like out of the money, it's lower than 50. So it's better than 50%. It's better than a coin flip. And the theta here is 0.42. So that means this is crazy. That means this option is decaying by $42 in value every single day. So that means if you sell this option, it's losing $42 per day. And when you're an option seller, right, you collect income. And obviously you can't close it right that moment, right? If you sell an, an option, you get that cash right away, but there's still a position in your, in your portfolio, right? In one day, it'll decay by $42, which means that if you were to close a position after one day, you'd be up $42, which is a pretty good return. And this option right here specifically, since it's expiring so short term, the $129 that you uh, collect right away, it will fully decay within just two days. So when you sell an option, your goal, kind of one of your goals is that the option does not go below 115. In this example, if it does not go below 115, you're good. You can just do this option trade again. If it does go below 115, that means that you will have to buy 100 shares of Nvidia. But the trick is you don't really care because Nvidia is a good quality company. So that's why selling put options on Nvidia is very lucrative. I'm going to show you several different trades, but I want to also tell you guys about the, the mindset that I have and teach you a little bit more about Nvidia because Nvidia is good for multiple different options. Okay. One, it's good for selling put options, which right here I'm showing you if you were to sell the 115, this is basically entry into 115. But you can also go for out of the money options, like pretty significantly out of the money, like 110. Now, if you're going to go for something like 110, the 110 strike, you would pick an option that is going to be expiring a little bit more out into the future. So let's go for 110. You can see right here, 
that you're basically going to collect $500 when you sell this option on the 110 strike. Now you will notice that the theta here is a lot lower. It's 0.02. So this option is decaying in value less. It's decaying less in value than something that is expiring more shorter term. Now I'm personally looking at NVIDIA investing a lot of money into it because they have the potential to power and transform future technologies. AI is in the trajectory that most companies are looking at taking or have already taken, including the most established companies like FANG companies. If you look at, you know, Meta or Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, these FANG companies, which by the way, have had really good performance, um, these companies are all investing in AI. And AI is a really big trend. And I like to be in a stock that has positive momentum. Because look, I teach option trading on this channel. I teach safe passive income. I teach folks how to retire and create uh, that stable income into retirement. However, it doesn't matter what option strategy that you use if you don't pick the right stock and you don't pick the right price on the stock. For NVIDIA right now, because it has pulled back a decent amount. I mean, if I look at NVIDIA stock, I like that the stock is no longer at its all-time highs. It's not necessarily a cheap company. So if we look at the three-month return here, it's down 3.86%. And if I go to year to date, this stock is just slightly off its highs of $135, $130 per share. You can actually see that it had a lot of resistance because it had a double top pattern here at 135. Then NVIDIA reached another, uh, basically the double top at 135. Isn't it interesting how stocks work? It's kind of obvious, logical, but at the same time, not logical and obvious. It's kind of interesting because you can clearly see that NVIDIA has very strong resistance and it does not want to push above $135 per share. You can also see that it has very good support at around $100, right? We had a double bottom at $100. So in my opinion, NVIDIA is like a Palantir. It's like an American Airlines. It just goes sideways for the short-term future, but it's trending upwards. So it's kind of like sideways action, but upward sideways action, and it has high implied volatility. This is a gold mine stock. I repeat, if you sell puts, and you sell covered calls, this is a gold mine stock. I'm literally up $2,450 in a pretty short amount of time. Um, I open up options on a monthly basis. That's because when I post my trades for my one-on-one -on -one members and the one-on-one -on -one members have access to Discord, when I post trades, I'm essentially doing two to eight weeks, okay? Let me explain why. Um, Short-term options have more premium to them, so they're attractive because they're decaying very quickly and that data, which I talked about earlier, is very high, so that option is decaying in value and when you sell it, you get to keep a lot of the income, you make a lot of income quickly. But, but let me say that if you collect $2,100 $2, in two weeks or $4,000 in four weeks. There's a difference there, but the difference isn't that high. And in my opinion, it doesn't really justify short-term trading. So that's why for me, I like monthly options and I like to have 10 to 15 positions because once you have too many positions, it is not easy to, um, to stay organized. A lot of my, the one-on-one -on -one students that I'm working with hands-on, I ask them, share me your portfolio, share me your positions. Let's take a look at how much cash you have. They'll share me a list of like, like 18 to 35 positions typically. And I'm like, mm, this isn't really how much how much time is it taking you? And they'll tell me, oh, it's taking me like multiple hours a, a week. I'm like, mm, not that good for management. Not only is it not good for time management, it's not good for organization. It also makes it much harder to trade because when you're sloppy with your trades, you end up not taking profits at the proper moment. You end up having more questions and the more decisions you have to make, the harder those decisions become, right? You're, you're bombarded with too many decisions. But when you have 10 to 15 stocks, uh, it's much easier to pick a proper entry, get to know the stock, understand the fundamentals. The fundamentals is very important and the technicals. So what I would be doing right now is I would simply be trading options, uh, specifically selling puts on NVIDIA um, for entry. So if you have shares, I would say get more shares unless you're over 20%. In that case, take it easy. You know, you want to have safe risk management. You don't want to have too much money in any one stock. So I would be looking at 110 right here. You can see how the implied volatility is 52% volatility. Uh, the data is decently high. Delta is out of the money and the bid ask is really attractive as well. So I want to be in NVIDIA because, and I didn't mention this, I mentioned this late in the video. So I think the stock is going to be $800 per share at some point, I think between 12 to 36 months. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a month 14, month 16. That is something that is too specific of a question and nobody can predict that, right? But I think that NVIDIA has a very long roadmap ahead of it. Its competition isn't that strong. NVIDIA has a very sustainable, competitive and durable competitive advantage, something that Warren Buffett talks about a lot, right? 
I've read all the Warren Buffett books and I've studied finance. I've had experience at Goldman Sachs. I know I say that a lot in this these type of videos, but I'm just pointing out that I've been at this game for a very long time. And I do believe that Nvidia's high momentum is going to continue. And I think selling options for optimal entry is a very good idea right now. And I see Nvidia being a dominator for the next 20 years. So if you have a long time horizon of a decade and 20 years, I'm going to make a crazy statement, but I would be using margin to invest in Nvidia. Now I would be using smart margin. That's probably not a topic for this video, but I would literally, and on my philosophy from the research I've done is I'm actually more than hundred percent invested in the market. Not only do I put my money where my mouth is guys and have all my money in options, I actually have leverage on options. So if you want, send me an email. I do have one-on-one -on -one coaching spots. I'm very limited because I'm now selling my time, you know, for money. Essentially, I am becoming a one-on-one -on -one coach because I want to have more impact on less people's lives, but I want to have higher impact, like really big impact. And I really enjoy that one-on-one -on -one aspect. I'm more old school myself. So I'm kind of tired of doing like the cookie cutter, like discords that everyone else selling. So anyways, feel free to reach out. I'll have my email and my uh, the first link in the description, the only link in the description for uh, more information. But look, I see Nvidia really dominating for the next 20 years. And I likely see that happening for 30 plus years. And that's really difficult. Even if you look at the S&P 500, a majority of companies, they never truly like stay in the S&P 500 forever. That is really, really rare. And the reason why I say that is because when I look at Nvidia, the use cases for Nvidia, like military and government, and by the way, that's federal, state, local, all the government, they are literally Literally, like I said, kind of like Palantir, where Palantir has their hands in the government's pocket. The same thing is with NVIDIA. And I know there's some news out there that China doesn't, you know, want to use all their chips. That's fine, guys. There's plenty of demand. Plenty. OK, so when um you look at what NVIDIA is doing, the use cases, OK, we have military and government. We also have enterprise software like the mega caps, guys. If you're involved with, you know, they have relationships with all the mega cap stocks. Believe me, those stocks and those companies have a big budget. So they're going to keep spending money on NVIDIA. Right. Also, if you look at healthcare, right, it's really big, guys. We have an aging population. And to be honest with you, money is really easy. Money is easy. And people, as they get older, get a lot of money. It's really not that hard. In fact, right now, even if I did absolutely nothing, God willing that I have good health and everything like that, I'd probably make it to $100 million if I were to live to age 70, right? That's because of compound interest. Money is really easy because it compounds over time, right? So when you look at healthcare, there's a lot of older people. We have aging population and there's a lot of money in healthcare, a lot. And I know that because a lot of my one-on-one -on -one students are doctors, dentists, medical professionals, like nurses. And I find a lot of success coaching medical professionals because you guys, medical professionals, are extremely detail-oriented, have a hard work ethic, and you're used to being kind of like, unfortunately, slaves, right? The medical system kind of takes advantage of the workers themselves, which is why I think it's really important for you to trade options and for you to have a safe passive income on the side and ideally grow that income to the point where you don't have to, you know, be doing that dental work and, and seeing like thousands of patients a month and doing lots of paperwork. Because I know I work with a lot of doctors. I see exactly how the work is and it is very grueling as well as engineers. I mean, engineering work is difficult. And by the way, even the most talented engineers I've noticed get fired as they get older because there's ageism in um, Silicon Valley. So more reason to trade options and more reason to look for opportunities like NVIDIA to sell options for income. And again, NVIDIA, the use cases are also automotive, autonomous, you know, driving and autonomous vehicles, operations, streamlining robotics, pharma. Pharma is a big one, right? We're going to have a lot of drugs coming out in the near future as we continue to accelerate AI, as we continue to accelerate science. NVIDIA is going to be making money in all of those areas. I'm going to show you some different plays that you can have on NVIDIA because you can absolutely go for a short-term place and you can also go for long-term trades. So let me show you. In all cases, the goal is the same. We're collecting income. We want steady, passive, safe income, and we want optimal entry into, into NVIDIA. All right. So I showed you the November 15 here, but you can also go out much farther. You can go out for, um, you can go out, for example, May 16, 2025, and you can sell an in the money option. All right. This is, might go over your head a little bit, but let me explain and make it more simple. NVIDIA is likely to rise by May 16, 2025. Okay. If this stock goes up, let's say to 125, this option right here, Will provide an over 10% return very safely. If Nvidia stays at the current level or is below 120, 
you're going to be acquiring Nvidia. The chances of it being below 120 is not that high. The delta here is actually going to say that. This is crazy because this is an in the money option, which typically an in the money option would have over a 50 delta. But the market understands that Nvidia is likely to go up. This is kind of proof that the stock's going to go up. The delta is 0.43, even though this is an in the money option. So I can pretty much recommend, regardless of when you're watching this video, that selling at the money options, which would be 115 or even in the money options at 120 would be a very good income producer. I would actually sell puts on multiple different expiration dates. But first, I want to say one more thing. Another key reason NVIDIA is a goldmine for selling puts right now is time decay, as I mentioned, and theta. High theta leads to increased income with the option decaying you know, quicker or more rapidly. When you're selling options, every single day that goes by actually works in your favor, especially with NVIDIA's quick moving option market. I have a student who is actually making over $6,000, around $6,400 to $6,900 a month for eight months in a row with a $300,000 portfolio. He's not a millionaire, but he has enough income to live a decent life. Plus, he owns his house. He's an older gentleman. So he owns his house, 6,000, you know, 300, 6,900. It's very stable, but it stays within that $6,000 range because we're implementing safe, lower volatility strategies and we have 10 to 15 stocks. Options is actually really predictable. Okay. If you look at stocks, unpredictable. If you look at buying call options, you can make a lot of money, you can lose a lot of money. When you look at selling put options, that is the safest strategy for consistent weekly or monthly income. Now, my one on one student, he's only selling puts and covered calls. He's also using covered calls because once you do get a sign on a sell put and you have shares, why not sell some covered calls? What else would you be doing, right? If you want to create income, sell some covered calls on shares that you already own. It's one of the easiest ways. So this student really, he primarily sticks to just selling puts. I call him a one trick pony. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just sticking to what is my bread and butter. Guys, my bread and butter trades. I've been at this for a decade. My first three years, by the way, were not that good. I have to admit my first three years, I didn't really know what I was doing, even though I already had experience at Goldman Sachs. I had finished half of my finance degree when I started. I started pretty early trading options. By the time I was like halfway through, I started to realize all I need is really three strategies, sell puts, covered calls, and the wheel strategy. So I call them my bread and butter basics. And I like to keep it very simple. Whenever I have students that want to complicate things, I say, look, you don't need to. If you can make like my student that's making in the $6,000 range per month with a $300,000 $300, portfolio, that's retirement zone. I mean, $6,000 isn't a whole lot of money, but you can imagine that, you know, once social security kicks in or once he's not working anymore, so he's not really going to scale his portfolio that much, probably go from 300,000 to maybe 400,000 in like a year, two years. So he's going for that more safe income. But you can imagine yourself as you scale up your portfolio, the income is just enough to retire after a certain point. So I've retired. I'm about to be 30. So if I can do it, seriously, anyone can do it. You just have to stick to consistency, which is hard for most people because consistency is the most important thing. So I view selling puts as a way to take advantage of market overreactions or fear-driven price drops, okay? So when a stock like NVIDIA drops in value, I'm looking to sell puts. Rather than most people, which try to catch a falling knife, you really don't know. Are you going to catch a falling knife at the right time? Is it a good entry or, or, or is it not a good entry? You really don't know, which is why for me, selling put options options allows me to buy the stock for a cheaper price than it's currently trading at. So it's basically a no brainer. And um, when I look at overreactions or fear driven event price drops, pretty happy to take advantage of that. And it potentially leads to substantial gains. I don't fear the market pulling back at all, especially for Nvidia, because I'm getting a more optimal entry to enter Nvidia by selling puts. As a new one on one coach, I can help you pick strike prices with you on a live Zoom call if you wish. For more details, go ahead and click the first link in the description if you have a $50,000 portfolio plus, because then it's going to probably make sense for us to work together and have some live sessions. I'd love to work with you. Otherwise, I hope that you keep enjoying my videos and subscribe to the channel. Oh, and I almost forgot. I wanted to give you guys a bonus. So instead of just selling puts, let's also talk about covered calls. All right, I was going to end the video. How could I do that? We want to do covered calls as well, because covered calls are actually a cousin of selling puts. So let's talk about the big picture. I'm not just looking at NVIDIA for the next few months. I believe the stock is heading to $800 or more in a reasonable amount of time. Reasonable again, being 12 to 36 months. I always tell everyone that you should not be looking at the short term results. It's all about a consistent long term vision. I'm a CEO of my business. I'm also a consultant of other businesses. And when I take a look at what the company is doing, 
doing NVIDIA specifically, my perspective is if you want to grow your wealth or anyone wants to grow their wealth, you find a strategy that works, an option strategy that works on a high quality company and finding a strategy and sticking to it. So that's selling puts and the second part of this video, which is going to be covered calls. Let's go over some covered call plays. So what I would personally do is if you already have shares of NVIDIA, you're probably in two camps, okay? One camp is that you don't mind losing the shares, okay? You just want high income, short, fast income, all right? So I would go for something that's 30 days out, all right? And the second camp, by the way, is you don't want to lose the shares, so we'll talk about that as well. So for NVIDIA, what you can do is you can just sell a covered call that's closer to the money, okay? So 120, you can go for this right here, and essentially it's a 0.46 delta, it's fairly high. The bid ask is really good, and you're going to collect $540 of income, which is over 4%. Insane, insane 4% a month. Beautiful. That's beautiful. And look, if it goes to 120, you can always roll it up. All right. You can follow my dog strategy, which is just rolling up by like five to ten dollars in 30 to 90 days. That's a simple truth of what the dog strategy is. But also you can go out farther in terms of date. You don't have to manage this strategy super closely. So you can go out for 2025 and any of the expirations, but give yourself a lot more upside. All right. So you can go up to like 150, 150. And there's still $7 worth of income here. So $7 worth of income, pretty good income, about 6% return. You get crazy upside. You get upside from 116 up to 150. So if you think that NVIDIA can pass 150, you obviously would not sell a covered call at 150. You would go higher to, let's say, like 160 or so. So this is the same trading strategy that I've seen used on Wall Street by the safest and best financial advisors. Obviously, I'm not a financial advisor, but I've seen this used for millionaire portfolios, for smaller portfolios, for mega big portfolios. This is the best strategy. Selling puts and covered calls. You truly don't need anything else. And I see this all the time in my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I see smart nurses, doctors, lawyers, dentists. We focus on selling puts and covered calls around the 30 Delta. Now, the reason why I go for 30 Delta is because it gives you the sweet spot of both worlds. You get good income and you don't have too much risk because if you do a sell put at a 50 Delta, you're going to get assigned. Again, that's not a bad thing. Just you get assigned a little too quickly and you don't get to enjoy option trading as much. You just have shares. Then again, once you get assigned, you sell covered calls also around a 30 delta getting income but at the same time you don't want to lose the stock right away because when you make money you have to pay taxes right you still pay tax on the options but you don't always want to pay taxes on the stock gains themselves which is a strategy that i definitely focus on i'm not a tax advisor either but i have a lot of experience doing this and obviously i've scaled to multiple seven figures and two different portfolios so taxes is definitely a tough part but a very important part of option trading especially if you're looking at producing income Okay. So if you want to retire and have a long-term investment plan, you want to look at stocks with higher implied volatility. Obviously, NVIDIA is part of that. You also want to optimize your tax strategies, right? So option income is really good and it gives you a strong source of income, but optimizing the taxes is also really important. All right. So that was the bonus material. Hope that you guys have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next one.